Hi the, friends, uh, uh, this is Anurag Jagitia and I am assistant professor in IT department and uh, I am going to explain you about uh, information security. So as we all know uh, that when we transmit information from uh, a, a sender A to a receiver B, both are the legitimate and genuine sender and receiver, they want to exchange some uh, critical or sensitive information among uh, between, between them, so they don't want any uh, illegal or illegitimate uh, a guy could be there who can steal their information exchange. So briefly we can say information security basically uh, is it encompasses lots of uh, uh, lots of techniques uh, and the services which will prevent anybody to uh, to to uh, to prevent the loss of data or to, to avoid anybody to modify your uh, sensitive information and uh, there are certain me measures also which were provided by uh, these principles that how you can recover the data which has been corrupted while sending uh, from a place to another place. So uh, we'll talk of three basic uh, ideas in information uh, security. Uh, in, in the, the security services itself says uh, there are three basic ideas that, that are abbreviated as CIA, uh, C for confidentiality, I for integrity and A for availability of uh, your information. So confidentiality it says the data should be should not be uh, read by anybody who is not a part of that particular communication and I stands for integrity that it says whatever you are transmitting uh, from a sender to receiver it should be intact. You, you send something it should be it should be received as it is. Nobody should be able to uh, change even a single bit of that particular data that's the part of integrity and availability of information. This service says uh, if you want to access any, uh, any information on resources uh, from a particular uh, system you should be able to achieve that on time as per your agreement that is called a service level agreement SLA. Other than these three uh, parameters, we have some other uh, security services as well. Uh, for example, we call it authentication. Authentication is another important uh, security service that says uh, before transferring any important information between a sender and receiver, they must authenticate each other that whether the uh, he or she is a uh, authentic, uh, authentic sender or uh, the receiver also has to prove that I am the authentic receiver, then they can uh, start uh, ch exchanging the information between them. The last part uh, is uh, one more important aspect is non-repudiation. That service indicates that uh, if you made certain commitments or if you made some, some transactions later on, you can't deny that I was not the part of that particular transactions. So this service is a two-way, both sender and receiver. By making certain comm commitments, later on they can't deny. For example, being an being a uh, investor, if you ask your stock broker to make certain transactions, and uh, you got some losses, financial losses. Later on, uh, you can't deny that I didn't ask you to do that. So that is the service called non-repudiation. So now we'll come on to the attacks part. So what kind of attacks could be there? So broadly speaking, there are two kinds of attacks. One is passive attack, one is active attack. Passive, as name implies, uh, if you are being passive attack, you won't be able to know that. Because if somebody is eavesdropping on your data or your communication, you will not be able to, um, uh, you, you won't be able to find that you are being uh, monitored by someone. It's like a tapping a, a phone, which we, we, we used to see in mo movies also. So uh, that's a passive attack. So in, for, in case of passive attack, it is very hard to detect. So what we can do, we can prevent. So prevention in this case is recommended, rather detection. And in case of active attack, if it, uh, it as a name implies, again active, there is an active involvement. It means your content, uh, your original information will be somehow uh, modified by uh, unauthorized parties. So that is the active attack. So in this case, obviously, uh, you, you will you will get to know this that you you have been attacked. But in this case, uh, it is very important to to know that you are been attacked, and then you need to recover the losses in case of active attack so they are easily identifiable so we can identify them and then we need to overcome with these uh, active attacks so we can uh, get a further uh, uh, categorization of attacks like in uh, in passive attacks there could be uh, like a traffic analysis one can because you might be knowing that there is a there is a technique we call encryption although we are going to cover that in the methods that the encryption is by which you can encrypt your useful information that only the desired receiver can only decrypt the information so in that case 
the passive attack or the eavesdropping will be difficult but there are people those who can apply the attacks like traffic analysis and all they their interest is to analyze the uh, amount of traffic or being exchanged between the sender and receiver so then so that they can just get to know a, 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 a get to have an idea that there is something uh, uh, some 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 kind of communication is going on in between uh, the sender and receiver so in active attacks there are many kinds of attack like muskrat is the popular attack when one party uh, which is uh, uh, not uh, the logical one uh, pretends to be someone else like uh, me uh, some some uh, somebody somebody try to behave or pretend like me uh, to somebody else okay so that is the active attack muskrat so other uh, active attacks are like a replay attack and the modification of content attack and the popular one is denial of service which we used to hear many a times it mean uh, the, uh, the 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 availability of uh, resources is being attacked in denial of service attack so that's the uh, very very tough one attack so we'll briefly sum up with the uh, mechanism which we can do to control all those attacks like uh, the one i discuss encryption we call it encipherment you can encipher your uh, data your original information which whichever you want to communicate to a receiver so you can encrypt that and other than this we have other uh, method like authentication exchange can be performed uh, digital signature is a very uh, useful and very prominent technique which can be used to uh, to digitally sign your original documents which will ensure that you are the authorized uh, uh, you know, authorized sender of this document because this document contains your digital seal so there are other many other at, at, um, possible ways by which we can uh, secure our communication uh, or between uh, the between a true sender and receiver so with this uh, we'll just uh, Uh, summarize this information security which is uh, the goal should be uh, to prevent the attacks and to detect them on time and then try to recover if you have been attacked you should try to recover that is all about the information security the principle itself says and so i'll sum up with one of the quotation of benjamin franklin that says three may keep a secret if two of them are dead thank you